Hello there, I'm Andy Capon and this is episode two of the classic mini Clubman Estate Rebuild. So in this episode we are going to start off with doing the front bulkhead, getting rid of as many of the holes as I can, making some plates, welding up, grinding it back, just making it look as clean as possible. So let's get on. <laughs> So, a bit of an update, cleaning off the front, all going well, doesn't look like there's much rust. It's coming away a little bit here. Um, I think that's quite easily rectified. But yeah, it's not looking too bad. It's cleaning up, it all takes time. There's a bit of rust in there. But, it's going well. So it takes time, and we'll get there, just keep ploughing on. And look how much dirty I am from uh, all that grinding. It's going to get a lot worse. So I, I forgot to turn the camera on my first bit of welding on the front. To be fair, I haven't welded in a little while, so it's probably a good thing. But here you go. So I've done some of the smaller holes where I've not had to make some plates. I grind them back. Um, I haven't actually got any gas on my welder at the moment, so that's not helping at all but they're good enough just to cover those little pinholes. Thank <laughs> you. 
time, so I put it in the right way. So that's some of the holes welded up. Um, move on to the big one. Might try and square it off before I decide to cut that one out so I can try and get a couple of my clips in there to try and line it up a little bit better. But I do like the nice clean look all the way across the front. That's why I get rid of those. And all the rest of the holes, I've still got that one, a little one, that one, and this side I've still got. That large one and those two medium sized ones um, but it's definitely getting there. I'm uh, liking the progress so far. So uh, yeah, let's just keep cracking on with it. Not bad for the first cut, a few tiny little bits and it needs to be a slight curve put in it. But I'm fairly happy with that for a first, first cut. Right, let's make it fit. Uh, I've got it in place now, 
just give you a quick look. So the gaps around the outside, pretty consistent, quite happy with that. The metal doesn't isn't exactly the same shape as the bulkhead at the moment, but I'm gonna tack it in places and we'll just make it make it conform to the bulkhead. Just take our time. There's no point rushing this one because I want it to look right. I want the front to look nice and clean all the way throughout with as minimal things coming through the bulkhead as possible later on. All right, let's put you back on back on there and uh, get some tacks in this. It's blown a few holes. Um, let's try and turn the world down slightly.
Right, so that's all welded around. Uh, I know it's not pretty, I'm not a welder, but it's going to be plenty good enough. There's going to be a little skim of filler across it, so you won't see any of that anyway. It's definitely in there, it's not going to move anywhere. There's a tiny bit here I'm not happy with. Uh, this is a slight bulge, but I think that was already in, I'm sure it was already in the bulkhead anyway. So next job is a couple more holes to do. And then I need to give it a good clean up, give it a good uh, coat of primer, and then move on to the next section, really. There's a couple of random bits that need doing. There's a hole in the rail here. Random, don't know why. Uh, so yeah, let's just yeah, keep cracking on. Fill in these holes and uh, get on to the next part of the project, really. Bit of an update on this one. So just finished doing the last couple of the tiny holes. Um, I didn't actually record them. They're up in, they're up inside. So I didn't see much point in uh, recording those. I'm trying to record as much as you can. Here is. Let's move the tape. Here is all the holes that I wanted to cover up. The only two I do have left. And there's one there for the old aerial. I want to get rid of the window washer ones, cover them up. Looks cleaner, I think, than putting a bung in it. But there you go, you can see all the holes are done now. I have a lot of grinding back. I'm sure oh, there'll be some pin holes I've got to go over. But I'm happy with that. Got to get rid of all the paint and then give it a very thin coat of uh, filler in some small little spots and then give it some etch primer, make it look all nice and pretty. Okay, let's crack on. Perfect. Right, let's get the magnet under it and uh, give it a weld up. Another hole welded over. So an update on the front, on the bulkhead. It is now, on the outside, complete. There's a little tiny hole there I got rid of. The one there, I did find this one. That's definitely got to be done. So across the skull, got rid of the plug holes, obviously for the left-hand drive minis, so don't need to worry about that one. That's the reason we got rid of this one as well, left-hand drive. Just makes it look a lot cleaner and tidier. So got rid of all the other holes. There's the two there for the wiper motor. Now we may relocate it to inside behind the dash. But for now, not sure, don't know how much room we're going to have behind there. So the other side you can see, I've still got... I'm cleaning up. It looks like it's a lot. It's a lot more surface rust knocking around. And same that side, but the front is the front bulkhead, shall we say, is definitely getting there. So with the welding, yes, I know it's definitely not the best welding. It's I'll show you actually. It's it's a portable welder down there. It's definitely out of gas. Uh, mind the mess because I've literally just moved everything out of the way. So yes, it needs gas. It's okay for the non-structural stuff. 
So for doing doing the bulkhead like we've done, it's absolutely fine. I'm never going to win any awards on welding, but I'm not a welder or anything. So my brother does have a much better and oh, it's yeah, it's really nice to use a much better welder. So when it comes to replacing the panels or anything like that, we will be using that one. I just haven't got around to nipping over and grabbing it yet. So on to getting rid of some more holes, really. Like I say, we have got that one. I'm just going to work my way around. We have got to inside. It's too dark, I think, for you guys to see at the moment, but obviously all the welds at the back to clean up. So there's a lot of tidying to go up inside there. I'm trying to get a good shot, but isn't really happening. Just about to see, you can still see there's some fresh hair through there as well, but that's all, all part of it, I suppose. That air vents, I think, got some rust underneath as well. So we said in episode one that that one definitely needs looking at. I'm going to take that out as well. I don't know what they had on the top of there, but I won't be using it for sure. So let's uh, crack on with a few other bits. I think we may go down this side. Yeah, we've got that bit there to do, to tidy that up, that hole. Ah, just remembered, we do have one more thing to sort out the front. We've got that one to sort. So that will definitely be the next job. All right, let's get on. Right angle, I think, though. Let's do that. So the gutter's done, uh, it's not the prettiest but I'm actually fairly happy with it. Again, using no gas and welder, not a great idea. Uh, it's not bad, tiny skimmer filler, there's no bumps or anything underneath. 
So uh, let's move on to the next one. Coming in episode three.